So you're here because you want to build out a website. Now before you go shoving a bunch of money in a website designer's face, you should spend the next five minutes with me because I'm going to show you how to build out your very own website. But seriously, if you're looking to build a website, just give me the next five to ten minutes of your time and I'm going to show you how to do it. No catch. And if you decide you don't want to do it and you do want to throw loads of money at someone to do it for you, you can shoot me a message. I'll handle it for you. We'll get you a website built. All right, cool. Let's jump to it onto the computer. And now you need to select a host. So I use Bluehost, which costs you only $3.95 a month. And the great part is, is when you sign up for their plan, they'll actually give you that URL for free, whereas most places make you pay for the URL. So go ahead when you're on this page and uh, enter in your billing information and you'll be all set up with hosting. All right, make sure you create your password for your account. Uh, you can do that just by, it's going to give you a recap of all of your site information, and then you'll just hit this blue button here to create your password. All right, so now we're inside the account, and you're, it's time that you set up your website. So the way we do that is I use a free software called WordPress, actually, and it's really easy, so don't worry. Just hit this Install WordPress button, and they're going to try to offer you a bunch of like paid options, but it's really unnecessary because I'm going to show you how to do it for free by just clicking this green button up here. So go ahead and do that. All right, awesome. So now we need to select which domain we'd like to install it on. Now, because you're creating a brand new website, uh, you shouldn't have to even worry about this because it should be showing already. And just hit check domain. You can leave that directory field blank too, by the way. So agree to the terms and conditions and hit install now and you're good to go. So Bluehost will ask you if you want help finding a theme, but don't worry about this. I'll show you how to do that later. All right, so we just need to wait for this to load. And after it does, hit View Credentials. And uh, let's hit View again. All right, so you're going to want to note these down. These are how you log into your WordPress site, and it's going to be how you control the content. So let's click on that and head over there and actually log into the WordPress site. So WordPress is a free software. You actually aren't paying for this, you're just paying for the hosting. All right, so congrats, you've officially installed your website. It's only been two minutes. Hit that My Blog button in the upper left-hand corner to see what your site looks like. Looks pretty plain. Hit it again to go back to the uh, dashboard. So navigate to Appearance and click Themes. This is how you can control the look of your site. Hit Add New, and then I like to sort by Popular, actually and just scroll through these themes. There's just tons and tons of them. Find one that jumps out at you, that grabs your attention, and uh, you, if you hover over it, there'll be a little install button. So when you find one, you'll wanna click that installation button, that install button, and then uh, hit activate. All right, so we can hit that my blog button again, and there we go. That's what our site looks like now, so looking a lot better. Let's talk about controlling the content. Right now it says hello world. Let's navigate back to the dashboard, select post, and add new. Okay, so this works just like Microsoft Word. Uh, it's very intuitive, very easy. You literally just type what you want it to say. You can see there's some bolding and italicizing in the toolbar, so if you want, you can stylize stuff. Uh, if you want to insert a picture, just hit add media, and then select the file from your computer that you want to add, and hit insert into post, and it's really that easy. And then to add it to your site, just hit publish. So let's go back and take a look at that. Awesome, so really easy, right? This, this stuff isn't hard. A lot of people get scared away, but it's not. So let's edit this thing that says my blog. So we're gonna go to settings and we're gonna go to general. That's gonna control that. So it's the site title and tagline. So let's go ahead and change that. And don't forget to scroll down to the bottom and hit save changes. So if we go back and look at it, in the upper left-hand corner there of the site, now it says Paul James, my website. Awesome. So the only thing left to do is this sidebar here, and this is called widgets. So let's go back and edit the widgets. It's located under appearance and widgets. So just delete the ones that you don't want. Um, by default, WordPress will insert a bunch of these ones in here, but I normally delete them all. And then I like to just drag over one of these text widgets on the left-hand side here. Just click it and drag. And then that works like Microsoft Word too. Just type in whatever you want it to say. And then don't forget, of course, to hit the save button. All right, cool. Let's go back and take a look. So that's it, we're done. Congratulations, that's all there is to it. Now, if you thought this video was super helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button. Also, it would be awesome if you'd subscribe to my channel because I do cool stuff like this all the time.
Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I want to go over how to set up a blog post in your WordPress website. Uh, so this is going to be the blog post that we'll be working on and I will just show you how to make sure you structure it. So you have the title at the very top that's going to be called the title. And then you're going to have a featured image. This would be the same image that when you share your blog post on social media, you see images appear with the link. This would be the image that appears. We have your paragraphs in here and then we also have titles and the titles are what uh, separate the blog, but also what Google recognizes to show that you have a well-structured blog. So when you make it to your uh, dashboard in WordPress, it's going to look something like this. Uh, you're going to have basically this black blank screen for the dashboard. All of your blogs are going to be under post. So what you can either do is you can view all the blog posts you already have, or you can add a new blog post. So what I like to do is always go to the all posts so you can open one up as an example and kind of just follow that along. So what we'll do is these will be all your blog posts here listed. So you can either view them, which will actually take you out of the dashboard. So I always recommend editing first. So click on edit to make it to that uh, blog post that you wanna edit. And this is the post that I'll show you how to structure correctly. All right, so first things first, you'll see at the very top, we have the title, um, just like I showed before, um, right at the very top, that's what will show at the top and also be the entire title for your blog. Now, as soon as you put this title in, uh, the URL below automatically pops up. And I recommend it being the same URL as the title. So when you do publish it, uh, you'll actually be, this will be the URL you'll be sharing on email and social media. Uh, next, you wanna add your paragraphs and your text. Um, make sure that you have some bold text here, which are called headings. And what you wanna do is have a couple heading twos and some heading threes. So this title is gonna end up being a heading one for you. And then down here, you wanna make them headings two. So let me bring it back to just a paragraph. This is what it's gonna look like when you're typing it in. So what, what you'll wanna do is highlight the title of that section. You're gonna click this down arrow for paragraph and you'll change it to a heading two. Um, and same thing for these others, heading two. And then what I like to do on the very last one is say the key takeaway. And then I'll make that just an H3 with a paragraph underneath talking about, you know, what the blog was about, like a summary. All right, so that was it for the blog post. Uh, we do need to add a, images in here. So I'll show you how to use images next. So what you want to do is create a space where you want the image. So let's say we want the image to go right here. We'll want to have our mouse cursor right here. Once you have this space, you're going to click on add media. Whatever you click for add media will enter the image right in there. So let's say that we're going to use this one right here. We can use one that's already in your website to insert into the post, or you can click upload files and upload a file from your computer. As soon as you hit upload file, it'll be entered right into the section automatically. And then you would just choose it from here and insert it into post. Now you have the image here. A lot of times they come with a caption. You can just remove the caption, delete that. And you can also drag this on the corner to make it bigger if you want. You can also double click this and hit edit. And you can change the size here to full size. I usually recommend and it'll update automatically on its own in the website and on the mobile version. So now you have the image there. Next, we need to go over the format on the right. You can keep it as a standard blog post. And then I always recommend trying to put them in categories. So this would be about, let's see what this is about. So this would be about addiction. This is the main keyword. So we're gonna put it in here, add new category after you put the new category in. And then we're gonna to wanna to uncheck the uncategorized, just keep it as addiction. Next, we wanna add tags. This is what the blog is about. So what I like to do is uh, put some words in there that the blog's about. So we could do these words. And then you also wanna put uh, your name, the owner's name. Um, so for mine, I would just put Brad Smith in there. And then you wanna put the website name in there also. I'm going to type in the website of this one. So if anybody does a search for these keywords, eventually we, we would want this blog post to show up in Google. 
And then last but not least is the featured image. This is the image that will go at the top, but also get shared when you send it to social media. So what we'll do is usually this will be empty, so I'm just gonna remove it. So you'll see set featured image. You can ignore two through uh, five, and you're just gonna focus on the first one. Choose the featured image you wanna use, and it'll aut automatically insert it for you. And that's it. So before we publish it, um, this one's already been published, but this button update would actually say publish. Uh, we'll wanna preview the changes. So you would click preview, and it would open up your blog post here so you can see what it looks like uh, before you go live. Now you can always go back and edit, and after you make any edits, you'll just say update, and then it'll automatically update in the website for you. So let me know, uh, start a live chat on automationlinks.com if you have any questions, and uh, we'll be more than happy, happy to help you with uh, any of the blog posts on your WordPress site. Uh, thanks for watching.